Bob, are you all right? Do you find all right? Well, I can take you home and get you dressed. You know, I really just wanted to hide under a duvet today and then I thought, stop it. So I found him work sick and now I'm going to treat myself to DVDs and chocolate. Don't need to get dressed up for that, Sophie. Who do I have to get dressed up for? But price these up for us, love. Because, I mean, when you think about it, they're not going to need it, are they, for a non-existent wedding? You talking about my mum? Oh, sorry, Sophie, me and me big gob. Yeah, her and Tim love each other. Right, so do they still need the bistro then or what? Well, it was just a bump in the road. Well, that's one way of putting it. Right, well, can you get her to give me a ring, yeah? Cheers, Rita. See you, love. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Hey, come here. How is she? She's a stay. She's all over the place. Really? Yeah. She's taking this breakup so badly. Right. Well, come on then. Let's get it sorted. Film is so sad. We've got a visitor. What? Oh, Sally. Rita. I can't believe what I'm seeing. But look, I'm not crying over Tim. It is this film. It is so sad. It's about this woman and she's dying. She's got ten kids and her husband likes a drink. Yeah, and I wasn't born yesterday. I, I was watching that. She hadn't found her home for the redhead yet. Well, this redhead would like a word. I know you, Sally. I know you a damn sight better than anyone else on this street. And? And? If there's one thing I know about you, it's this. Sally Webster does not wallow. Well, she's wallowing now. You can say that again. For once in my life, I'm allowed to feel just a little bit sorry for myself, aren't I? I mean, it's not against the law, is it? Exactly. That's why you, lady, have to take responsibility. For what? For what? For your actions. Look at yourself. Accept you've messed up. Then dust yourself down and start, start all, all over again. You're not going to start singing, are you, Rita? I'm going nowhere, lady, until you book your ideas up. Uh, would you like a drink, Rita? Oh, vodka and tonic, if you can manage it, love. I'll have a look. Mum, Rita's only trying to help. Yeah, well, I want to be alone. Well... That Greta Garbo act is all fine and well, but I'm afraid you've no chance. What? We're going out. But I've got an appointment with a bottle of wine and a Mad Men box set. Mum, sitting in watching DVDs is not going to do you any good. Yeah, well, it will if they're all square-jawed Americans. Well, he may not be square-jawed or American, but there's a Weatherfield window cleaner who needs to see you with your head held high, which is why you're coming with me and Sophie to the Rovers. <laughs> The Rovers is the last place I want to go. I'm afraid you have no choice. I'm the voice of experience. And it's an order. I still don't understand why I need to be here parading myself in public. You're not parading yourself. It's called a show of strength. Whatever. Listen, a couple of more drinks like that and you'll be able to walk out of here with your head held high. You might have made a mistake, but you're not ashamed. Well, that's just it, Rita. I am ashamed. Yeah, but no one has to know you're ashamed. You're in. Oh, hi. Okay. Pine, please, love. Uh, no loss. Right, that's it. I'm going home. Oh, no, do no such thing, Sally Webster. Do you want him back or not? Of course I do. Well, walking out right now will make that a whole lot harder. Yeah, Rita's right. You're going to pull yourself together and remind Tim what he's missing, aren't you? I am. Say it like you mean it. I am. Good. Maybe we'll sit with Rita in. Look, if it makes you feel any better, she's been in the right old state. Why would that make me feel any better? I don't know. Just shows that she cares. Listen, Tim. She regretted that kiss as soon as it happened. Anyone can see that. All that time and you still didn't tell me. 
I can't believe that. You should never have forgiven me. I thought we were pals, me and you. And he kept something like that from me. Just goes to show you, doesn't it? You think you know folk, eh? I'm sorry, Tim. I really am. So much for thinking positive. I should have just stuck to my original plan. Yeah, well, I wish I hadn't got involved, cos now I'm in the bad books and I'm not doing anything wrong. I'm sure he'll come round. No, he won't, Rita. He hates me. Of course he doesn't. Field of Dreams, Tim's favourite. Look, cheer up, Mum. All he needs is a bit of time. Well, we haven't got time. We're supposed to be getting married in a few days. Uh, maybe you should have a plan B on that one. Plan B? Well, perhaps cancel the bistro. Yeah. Yeah, Rita's right, Mum. If you build it, they'll come. What? It's a bit in the film, Tim's favourite bit. If you build it, they'll come. Tim and I are getting married on the date we agreed, Sally. That wedding is going ahead. But more. I'm not going to cancel venues or anything else because we are getting married and that is the end of it.